Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process how we can easily use Monday.com. So let's start. When you enter Monday.com and when you sign up with your account, on the left side you're going to see workspaces, we will get to it. Then you would see notifications where you can find all 100 in which you were mentioned and assigned to you. Then you can see inbox of messages here. When you go further, you would see my week of tasks and uh, what needs to be done. Then you can also invite members, member or viewer as a guest. You can search everything like let's say boards and if you're gonna have like a lot of workspaces, you can actually find YouTube here and I would see every single task that would be here. And then you're gonna see help. And then the last thing I want to show you before we start to creating workspaces and tasks is to enable dark mode. This is my recommendation for having a great work and it's going to get much easier. And if you're like me, that you like working in the evening, uh, you will enjoy this. <laughs> now let's start and let's create a new workspace. You click here on the three dots and you can browse all new workspaces. You can pin the workspace or you can simply add a new workspace. Workspace name, I'm going to and a YouTube tutorial. And now what you can do is to edit how it looks and also change the logo of the workspace. And let's click create a workspace. Right when you're going to do it, you're going to see members and you can simply invite someone and then you would see permissions. And now you can also leave the workspace and on the left you would see add. So you can see right now that you can add and you can add a new board. So I'm going to add a new board. Then we can add a new dashboard in which you can uh, see plenty of statistics. And then you can import data or you can choose from template. So first thing we are going to do, I'm going to add a new board. Or you can also add a new folder. New board here. And I'm going to name it board one. You can make it as a main. You can make it as private or shareable. Create a board. Then you would go again to left top to add and I can choose from template and let's click here see more templates. The one huge advantage Monday.com has are templates. Here you can go with the marketing, with the content production, project management, sales and CRM. I'm going to click with marketing and now I can simply, let's say um, marketing team planning. Let's use. You can really choose which one you want. You can also preview it, how it looks like. It looks good. So I'm going to use the template. Now we are going to wait until it's going to get a load. And you can, what I really like that you can actually add directly in a template. But what we are going to do, I'm going to leave the template as it is. I'm going to click on a board and we will create everything together. Okay. So when you would come here to board, what do we see here? First, all views, we will get to it after tasks. Then we see the main view is a main table. You can click new item or you can create a group of items. You can search for tasks. You can filter by person and their tasks. Then you can filter by anything. You can sort the columns. You can pin the columns. You can see hidden columns, item heights. You can double them or triple them or single, then conditional coloring and item default values. Then you can simply integrate on the right side. You're going to see automations here that you can create. We will get to it too. And then you can collapse the header. You can invite the people, you can see the activity or you can add to bar a new column of views, integrations, automations, apps. And on the right top, you would see add a group. At the board members, board activity, you can see the integration center, automation center, board permissions, board settings, like rename the board, change board type. You can really choose which one you want. Now, let's go and add an item or add a group of items. Group of items, and I'm going to name it YouTube videos. I can simply change the color and now click add. And let's say that I want to create a YouTube video YouTube tutorial, how to use Facebook. So this is my first task that I have. Okay, I can simply click on it. 
and I can write an update on a task. I can go to top right and assign it to someone. Or I can see the activity log what was happening with the task. And then what you can do is to simply add a view like item card that you can manage all your information in one place. That you can simply click here and you can edit it directly. This is really great if you want, if you're going to have like a lot of custom fields and you don't want to scroll around in money.com, but you want to have everything about one person, about one thing here. What do I mean by that is when I'm going to click on the right side, add a column and I'm going to add an email here. I can simply click on my task, go to item card and simply choose date, change the status and you see here the email. So let's say that you're going to have like plenty of custom fields. You would see all of them here. Now, what you can do with the custom fields when we started it, you can simply add a column and you have options to go between essentials as a text, numbers, status, emails, formulas, files, super useful. Or what you can do is to simply click more columns. So what can I do is this, I can simply go, let's say with sub items, then I can simply add, <laughs> you can really choose which one you want, formulas. Okay. Also let's say that we need time tracking. So I'm going to write here time tracking, word clock time tracking. And now, so we see right here, let's close the column. We see the task. I can change the status. I can edit the labels. So done, start working on it. Canceled. So this is how we can do it. Now let's say working on it. Date, we can change that. Email. Now sub item, I can simply add a sub item. So first sub item. And you can simply add the columns directly in the sub items right here. So that's what you can do. What you can do next is to add a formula. So you can like, or if you have numbers, you can simply connect it and if switch and or exact count together. So if you have a lot of numbers, you can play around with two. And then you can start the time tracking here. And as you can see, the time tracking started. And I can also add a session manually. And this is with most of the columns that are pretty simple and straightforward how we can use it. So I can also add a phone here. And I can go and I can also zoom in a little bit. Phone. And it's directly, it sees as a Slovak number because I'm from Slovakia. So right here, and you can add drop down and edit the labels here. You can rename everything and you can simply also delete the column. Yes, you can duplicate the columns and many more things. How you can actually play around with columns. And you can really find plenty of columns that you can use, plenty of custom fields. And you can also see timeline column, text column or files column to upload the files. So when we have it and when we gather columns, you can go to the top left and click all views. Here you can simply add a view and you have options to add table, Gantt, calendar. Then I can simply add a chart, Kanban, let's add it too. You can also add a form here that you can fill out. And then you can also click apps. And now we have options to choose between a map, a form I added, I'm going to show you how it works, work cloud, board to glow, performance inside, form viewer, pivot board, embed data studio, and many more um, marketplace applications that you can use. So you can really choose which one you want, right? Now when you got it, and I'm going to click on main table, this is what we see. Next one is calendar. And in calendar, you can add directly tasks too. So I can add a Friday group YouTube video. We can change that if you want to person status date and you see all the uh, for the item date item. 
uh, you can see that all the custom fields that we created in the main table are available in our calendar. We can go and click create an item and date item we see it right here. Kanban is really similar and you see that, okay, we got a working on it done stack. And when I'm going to move to done and I click main to main table, it's directly changed also in my main table to done or our Kanban. So this is pretty easy, pretty straightforward to understand. And the more you create in status, the more you would see in Kanban. So if I'm going to add a five one for our Kanban, uh, I will be able to see that. So, and this is what we read everything. I can click on new item here or all views, add a view. I can add a timeline here. And also I can add a map, more views, big map here. Map view will only work with one of the following columns, location and country. So I will add a column and this is really great location. So items without location, this one here, and let's go to main table. Let's go to the right side and click location here. Let's go Bratislava, Slovakia. And when I go back to all views, I can simply click here on map. And I will be able to see it right here. Right. And I hear I lived somewhere around here, <laughs> by the way. OK, that's that's just random information. I don't know why did I say it. <laughs> so when you got it. What you can do also, I wanted to show you how you can create a form, share a form based on this board, go to form. And you can simply add a form based on the board. You see the location, the email, the date, the status. And if you would create for your leads a form, you can actually do that. So this is what you can do. You can create a form that people can fill. And I'm going to preview the form and voila, name, status, date. And it would automatically add it to my, to my column, right? So that's really great. I can simply share the form. I can copy the form country submit and voila and voila here we got it see so it's directly this is really great for leads so you can actually implement this on your website and then the people would feel it or you can share with them mm, the link and uh, those leads would got it right now also what you can do is to simply integrate applications and you see multiple integrations that you can do and same with it you're gonna see featured as oh uh, you can do the automations here when it's starting meeting on zoom create an item and sync meeting details when any update is posted send it to user when an item is created notify user and same thing with automations right here this is really similar automatic center and you come here this is really where the fun begins you can go when a number is greater than value change the status or to something when a group contains more items than value notify someone and you can really choose when a person is signed to the someone move item to a group and you can really choose which one you actually want i don't know if i should show you like every single one of these automations but i think you understand it uh, you need to actually like, okay, what I need to solve and then find automations for that. And you will find it possible with a high possibility. Then when you got it, you can go again to left bottom and you're going to see the my profile here. That you can change the uh, title, phone, Skype and everything. You're going to see integrations with four developers, admin, customization, that you can change the logo. You can invite users and members here. Admins, board ownership, automation ownership, security, and edit that to API. Then you're going to see the billing here. I got free for pro trial. I can upgrade it. And yeah, so this is pretty much it how you use it. I don't know if what else should I show you. 
because all of these are really simple. As I mentioned, you can simply click here and choose a template that you can use and manage. So using Mali.com is pretty simple and pretty straightforward what you can actually do with it. Mm, and if you have, have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You just know how it goes, you know how it works. And yep. Yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.